Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. When we last left off, I was doing the build on the cherry wood building, uh, the gift building. I don't want to call it a gift shop because you can't buy things from this. This is gift storage. That's a that's a good name for it. And I had promised to do some cleanup, but I didn't. So that's what we're doing today. Is we're gonna we're gonna clean up all this wood, not all the wood, but I mean the most of it, as as much as I can. Because this is this is crazy. This is ridiculous. I've got wood all over the place. Like this thing. It it needs to be sorted. That's all sorted. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Alright, lift, 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 lift. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. And there you go. That's fine. That's that's good. Um Yeah, because of the size of this thing, I don't want it to glitch out so I hope you guys don't mind I'm probably gonna cut this down to size so oh my goodness thank you so much Sanji Nanad Nanadad thank you so much for the subscribe appreciate it very welcome welcome to the, to the uh, code primates family squad code Pri code code squad coders codesters I don't like coasters because it sounds like coasters. And I, I don't like, you don't set them down to place your drinks on top of, you know, have soda during the summertime or something like that. And got to put a coaster down. If you put coasters down, I mean, you don't have to, but it ruins the wood if you don't have like varnish or something like that on the coffee wood tables. Oh my gosh, is it really taking this? I'm about to just make one blueprint and throw it. You know what? That's a that's a good size. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's take glow wood and sort the glow wood. Because that's the easiest to see and it's nighttime. So there's some glow wood there. And we're just gonna put that in the glow wood bin right here. Boink. Now somebody said that if you stack the wood, it has a better chance of glitching and stuff like that. I know presents explode if you do that, but I'm not sure about wood. Just as long as nobody's jumping on it, I should be fine. I may have to build up bigger bigger walls. <clears throat> now this was the only glow wood storage unit, right? Oh. Oh, there's glow wood over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that piece fell down. Ah, okay, this is going to be a problem. Um, do I have any extra chop saws just laying around somewhere? No. Hmm. Let's think about just, uh, oh, wait, wait, maybe I do. That pink car got flipped. Darn it. Oh, do, 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 do. I do! Yay! Okay, so let's bring that piece of glow wood all the way over. Oh gosh, there's another one. <laughs> They're like towering monoliths on my uh, base. There's a word for you monolith. Can anybody tell me the dictionary term of monolith? Uh, Place your answer in the comments down below, if you want. It's not a contest or anything, but you know. <clears throat> I believe you should be learning at all times. Even after you graduate from school and go off into college or go off into the workforce or go off to the military, whatever you do in your life after school, you should be learning something. Go learn a programming language. Go learn um, a history. Go learn something that interests you. I don't believe that all schools should just be, you know, the basics, mathematics, numbers, spelling, writing, reading, arithmetic, stuff like that. I think, I believe you should be learning at all times, every day, in all of your life. I think that's what makes us human. I think 
our curiosity, our ability, and our want to explore the world around us, that's what makes us us. And it's it's a good thing. So Alright, buddy. We're just gonna Whoa. Lag time. I'm just gonna squeeze you right in. What is going on here? Stop it. Seriously, is it the OBS? It's not the OBS, right? Come on, come on. It's not it's not gonna go any further than that. Is it okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, whatever. It's good. Turn that on and walk away. Now we can go and clean up little bits. And when we hear it stop hitting. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's take this one over there to get the same thing. We're going to have to chop all these down to size. <laughs> That one, I can lift it. If I can lift it, then it should be fine. But these things are worth a lot of money. Lots of money. I think I still think that might be too big. Uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll stick it in there. There you go. You're good. You'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be fine. Nobody will see you. <laughs> Big yellow thing sticking out the top of the, the warehouse. All right, there's that one is for you, right? Yeah, that goes to yours. Um, this is a gift from somebody. That's okay. I was thinking this was a truck to give away. It's not. Somebody parked it over here. Oh gosh. Oh, I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. They were asking, where do, where can I park it? Where can I put the presents? And I was like, just park it next to the, the pink truck. It'll be fine. But this is the last pink truck. Christopher, I dropped off with Big Rebel. And he said that he got it. Um, but he could only play at certain times. And those times were not in the times that I could play. But he did win. So he is the winner. Congratulations, Christopher. Chris. And I'm really glad that you got to... To win, I'm sorry that we didn't get to record. Um, but maybe sometime in the future, just remind me of like who you are and, and if the situation changes and you have like a later curfew, or if I switch to like a, a day shift or something or a night shift, then maybe we can get together and we will record. What in the world? Okay, this is a pain. <laughs> oh, okay. Drop this down right there. Wow. Wow. I know I don't want to move it. I want to. No, I don't want to move it. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong. There you go. All right, we'll try that again. <laughs> Code, you're silly. I know. I try my best. Let's go this direction. By the way, um, I found out the reason that a lot of you enjoy my videos is because of the calming voice. And I've noticed that I've not been doing much of just the calming voice videos. So that's uh, one of my goals for this week is to try and get back into just talking and playing. Um, I know that, uh, it, it seems very dry and very bleh, but it's, it's really, it's really not. If you just sit and listen and concentrate and you, you don't really have to be watching the video. I mean, you know that I'm cleaning up my base, but I mean, you're not going to come back to this for like tutorials. It's not something that you want to show off to your friends. It's just for you and just, just for me to get here and to play because this is the reason that I got into the game, was the ability to like stack things and move things around. It's got a very unique building system, first off. Like there's, there's no other game that I know 
that plays the way Lumber Tycoon 2 plays. It's just very open, open faced, open, I wanted to say open source, but it's not open source, it's <sighs> open format. A lot of the places, a lot of the builds, a lot of the tycoons, they're all set in stone. Like you have to build here, where you can only build in the, these certain areas. This one, it's very expandable, very free, free flowing, and I like that. And there's so many blueprints. I mean, you can come up with your own designs. You can come up with your own ideas. Pixel art is amazing. If you have not seen some of the pixel art that's inside these games, inside the bases, dude, you're missing out. Because it is amazing what these, these guys are doing. And girls, guys and girls. It's just, some of it's just breathtaking. Like, I drew a dog out of a wire that's supposed to be used for neon lighting and stuff. All right, let's see how you're doing. You're almost there. Can we help you along? Got it. Sweet. Okay. So. There we go. this piece. I'm going to drop this in here. I'm going to kind of make a long plank out of it. Not really going to be a long plank. There's not enough to make a long plank, but you get the idea. That one's just about the right size. Let's go this direction. By the way, I need to keep an eye on the time because whenever I start cleaning my base and doing things, I get lost in the time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I end up going like 45, 50 minutes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. There we go. Just nice and easy. Oh, oh, easy, easy. We don't make mistakes. We make some happy accidents. You can do anything that you want to do. Total power. Sing along, have a good time. Do, do, do. By the way, that's the... Uh, Bob Ross song. Happy Little Cloud. Oh gosh. It's not gonna fit! It's not gonna fit! No! It should have fit like perfectly in there. There we go. Spam click. Alright, just move you straight back. Come on. Oh gosh. What happens if I shut the door on you? Oh! <laughs> nice! That works. Shut the door. Just, yeah. Have you ever cleaned up your room really fast and just thrown everything in the closet and it's like stacked up against the door and the door's like pushing against the hinge and you're just hoping that your, your mom doesn't open the door and have whole bunch of stuffed animals like pile on top of her. No! Dad, come quick! Mom's buried! What happened? I just put the animals inside the closet and now they're all over. Just mom's hand sticking out. Help! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That one's almost done. All right, let's just go a little bit more. Whoa, whoa. It's really loud. It's like super loud. There we go. All right. Mm. That took a really long time to cut. Like that was, that was almost half the episode. In this episode, I will cut a sinister tree one time. What happened to the, the video code? Well, I had these sinister trees and they were all over the place. Growing up, just like little saplings. They just went crazy. All right, drop. Oh, wrong side. 
That's no good. Oh, ow. Hard hat zone. Hit me right in the face. Okay. Let's just, no. What if we, maybe right, no, that doesn't work. Oh, goodness. All right. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to need a bigger bin. Call it Big Ben. Copyright London 2018. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, that's not going to work, so... <sighs> Let's just stick it right there for now. That'll be good. I noticed that if I open two of these doors at one time, they don't line up. Oh, wait. That's not the right side. If I open this door. Yeah. There's a little bitty gap. I probably should have gone a little bit closer, but just an interesting fact. Did I start another saw blade? Did I? I didn't. Okay. Let's cut this one. If I can get it in there. I really don't want to have to manually cut these, by the way. That would take forever. Come on, get in there, get in there. Come on. Are you stuck on something? What are you stuck on? Don't get stuck. Don't be stuck. There we go. Oof. 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 Boom. All right, let's move you backwards some. Good. Not on top of that wood, please. There we go. Now we have to move it away from the saw blade. There we go, and go. <clears throat> For those of you that didn't know, this center bar right here that holds on the blade, it's got collide on. So if you toss something on it, or if it presses down on top, it'll collide with that object. Sorry, I was trying to pretend like the the uh, saw blade was loud, so I had to talk over it. I don't know. Did that work? Hmm. All right, nice and easy. Here we go. And good. This place is going to be full. It's no longer the wood bin storage. It's just the sinister wood storage. Do I have a bin of yellow wood yet? Uh, I'm gonna say I did. I'm gonna say it was this one. Oh, that's a gift that's sticking there. I'm like, what in the world is... Oh, it's a, a thing. Okay, so let's grab yellow wood. Oh, sorry. Glowing fir trees. Glowing fir is during the uh, winter event. Whenever they had the winter games going on. So, it is a rare item. No longer available in game. Well, except through trade and other players. So, we will start collecting up yellow. I missed. Yellow. Yellow. Oh my goodness. It's like all right there, isn't it? Did I put yellow in this guy's truck? I think so. Maybe. Hold on, get out of there. Get out of there. Thank you. We'll go look to see if he's got yellow. Okay. Go this way. This way. Yeah, he's got a yellow brick in there. Maybe you could make a road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Because, 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 because the things, the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Alright, let's move a little bit further. A little bit more. That's good. Turn that back on. 
And off we go again. Wait, how far in are we? Oh my gosh. We are already 20 minutes into the video. It does not feel like 20 minutes has passed. Oh gosh, I've barely done any cleaning. Oh gosh. Gonna have to do like 20 more of these videos. Hey, that's an idea. You guys like the base cleaning videos. You also like the uh, scripting tutorials. And you like just uh, lumber in general. So tell me in the comments what you would like to see. And you might just have it, you know, suggest your suggestion picked. I do pick suggestions. Oh gosh, yellow. Can I chop these fairly easy? Okay, cool. Just worried for a second. No! Okay, let's pull that off to the side. By the way, the reason I'm chopping them down is because the long planks have a tendency to explode, and if one of the sections of the long planks explodes, then I'm, I'm okay, because that's, you know, just one. But if I lose one of these entire trees, I'd be so upset. And it's happened before. Like, even scammers have come on and they're like trying to push this stuff around, so. Come on, there we go. Ooh. Get it just a little bit. And let's take these over into the bin. I probably should have cut them over there. Instead of cutting them over here and now having to walk them the entire length. Rip. Me. 2018. Actually, no rip. Oh, oh, rip. Tree. <laughs> Chair. Four. There we go. We're good. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh. I'm doing great driving tonight. I'm just saying, like, this is, you know, 10 out of 10 on the driving tonight. For it. You'll notice that I'm not. Oh, I'm not stacking these like I did the others. Just to kind of show you the uh, the difference of how much you can get in there. All right, back it up. Get away from the edge. And here we go. There we are. Whoa! Did you see those pieces flying around? What in the world? It's because there there's a delay there. All right, let's chop this one in two. We're gonna half this one. So basically having is you take the full length, cut it in half, grab this one, match them up the best that you can. You're gonna cut both of these right down the middle. So it's halves, 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 halves. It sticks. It's not gonna stick. It's gonna fall off. It fell off. And I can push you off onto the edge. Don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Ha 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 ha. That's an older song. Comment down below. <laughs> Doing a lot of call-outs to the comments today. I don't know why. It seems like the thing to do. Oh, 
By the way, I'm also supposed to be calling out at the very beginning. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes, guys! Um, I don't understand that. Why would you call out the likes before the video plays? Is Was that your goal setting? Is there a reason? But if you haven't hit the like button by now, then you're probably not going to like the video. So it's your choice. If, you, if you're enjoying yourself, if you like being here and like the video, then you, like me, would want to hit the like button. Because I, I do that on videos that I like. But if you don't like the video, I encourage you, don't hit the like button. All right, you have a freedom of choice and you have the right to say, I don't like this video. And it's not a requirement for you to be here. <sighs> I've heard people say like, if you don't like it right now, the police are gonna come. One like equals no school. <laughs> what? So, yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna touch that. Nope. Are you cut? I think it's cut. The cut is good. The cut is good. All right, let's go ahead and half this one. Just a little, a little bit more. Whoa, that's a lot of bit more. There we go, one and a half, good. And we go. And we'll leave that one to plank out. We just got one more of those. So we did a little bit of cleanup, not not bad, but still got a big mess code. Your your base is so messy. I know. Oh, I thought that said 36 minutes. No, it's at 27 minutes. Oh, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we clean up the base. Woo! That was a. Uh, Two hours of base cleanings? No, it's just just an hour. Two episodes. Base cleaning. And the first one I didn't really clean. So love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Mixer. Follow me on you now. Just yeah, all of those things. And the the links should be in the description down below. If they're not, point out which ones aren't there and I'll go ahead and add them. Um but yeah. Love you guys, and it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm not gonna pressure you. I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. That, that, ooh, that was scary. Outro, outro. No, I don't like that one. <clears throat> outro, outro. No, let's do more like a outro. There we go. I like the Batman voice. Like, I am Batman. <laughs> I am good primate. Outro.